All right. Good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Nandi Uche. Um, today, we're going to talk about Wayek uh, practicals. I decided to do a series on the Wayek practicals because of uh, the, uh, the situation we find ourselves right now, because right here in Nigeria, in uh, Nigeria to be precise, we are not going to write the May June uh, IGCSE exams, okay? Um, so the exams for May June has been cancelled. That is the IGCSE, and then Wayak has made it very clear that um, once uh, the lockdown is over, um, there will be no uh, enough time for students to prepare for the exams. That the exams are, uh, will kick off almost immediately. So. I decided to do a series on uh, YA practical questions, that is computer studies for now. Okay, so I will try to do this as swiftly as possible. Um, I will be answering questions one, question one, I will treat question one in this video and then uh, in subsequent videos I will handle questions two. I don't want the videos to be uh, lengthy. All right, haven't said that. Let's continue. All right, let's look at uh, question number one. Um, using a word processing application package, create a visiting card for a system administrator of a software company using the following specifications. So you're creating a visiting card, okay, a card designed for visitors, like a tag, you know, like an ID card for a visitor. All right. So the size of the card should be 3.5 by 2 inches. Okay, so let's dive right in. Um, so you need to insert a, either a rectangle or a text box, okay? Any of them will do the job. Either a rectangle or a text box will do the job effectively. So let me go for a text box. Okay, so uh, once I draw the text box, I will insert the height and the width 3.5 by 2 inches okay so this is the height okay the height and uh, and the width all right let's move forward um all right so office and residential address separated by a line okay so you need your office address office address uh, office address uh, let me say 12 Abacha Road you're not expecting me to use my real address right <laughs> are you <laughs> God her God uh, River State okay separated by a line so i will hit the space the shift key and then i'll keep pressing the underscore shift key and underscore until i get to the end okay okay then i can backspace once and press my enter so that's how you can easily draw the line and then i'll type my uh, office address uh, my house address okay Oh, sorry, residential address. That's the word used there. Okay, so you you are not still expecting me to use my real address, right? Okay, 21. Let me still go with the same street, Abacha Road. It is actually in GR Report Hackle here. Okay. Okay, reverse it. Well, a smart student can just copy and paste this without typing afresh. Okay, so I guess I didn't think that early, but that does not mean I'm not smart. Okay, all right. So, um, what else do we have? Uh, the card should be copied in three places on the same page. I think we will do this do this later because there are other things we need to do to tow the card so we just do it at once and then duplicate them okay excuse me note that the background color must be grayscale okay 
so uh, the background color must be grayscale so um, pick this up go to grayscale so that's a, a grayscale right there this is grayscale that's grayscale grayscale okay so any of these three would work all right so let's say i pick the last one which is 50 percent great um what else do we have uh, okay the card should be in shadow style so let's quickly go up there click on the card watch where i clicked not inside by the the, the border there clicked on it and then i go to shape an effect that is on that format shape and effect and then uh, you see shadow okay so you choose the kind of shadow where you want the shadow to be okay so i'm choosing this uh by the right okay if you notice you'll see a shadow dropping by the right there okay so what else what else what else um the card should be shadows okay title visitor um so this should be the title visitor okay and it should be in uppercase uppercase the highlights great 25 percent okay let me type that first okay so you go to the top that is where it should be at the top visitor uppercase okay it should be highlighted in gray but that gray has to be 25 percent right let's confirm that 25 percent gray okay so you can do that in home and then you go to yeah you go to the text it's the highlight text okay highlight text so you choose what highlight you want take note they say 25 percent gray so just hover the mouse point around it the percentage of color will appear okay all right so you've seen that already yeah the name of the color will appear and the percentage especially for gray okay so we've chosen that 25 percent okay uh what else yeah the font okay the font size should be 10 point and the type should be georgia okay uh so remember to come back to select this 10 point georgia georgia right there okay all right so after then what next do we do um what through it d d d3 so let's go to d4 office address okay and it's usually like that should be separated they should have a 1.15 line spacing font type is cambria font size is seven point so let's do all of that quickly from there to here okay font size is seven point seven is not there so you have to type it in and then the font type is cambria yeah yeah okay so well where where basically done with it okay we're through with it yep so this is just the end of the card so remember to duplicate the card into three they say the card should be copied in three places on the same page okay so i will click i'll just centralize this just to add more effect to it so that it looks uh better in the eyes yeah so this is just what the question is asking you to do so you duplicate this three times Control d duplicate duplicate okay please let me go back a bit uh, take note of where i clicked i clicked on the line so i selected the box itself okay all right so Control d Control d if you do this on a text it will take you to the font the font something about the font i think so where you need to edit the font all right so this is uh basically what is required of you um any other thing all right so that's just that so you print that of course re remember if even if you were not told remember to add your name in the footer or the header your name and your reg number okay it is very important to include that so your work doesn't get mixed up with some other person's work all right so that is that for number one uh i'll quickly also do that for number two and then number three. Thank you.